talking of intense. Look at the eyes of this woman then. Miriam Nicole from France, second in qualifying, not outside the top three in any sector on this track. And Nicole, she's going to be pushing hard today. Miriam's a fierce rider and she does not like to lose, I don't think. So having those young girls coming up, chasing her, biting at her heels, she wants this and you can see it in her eyes. 31 years old now. Some big, big injuries along the way for this woman, but nothing seems to slow her down. 2.2 up then. So Nicole very much on a run here in Maribor. She's letting it go. She's got the brakes off. I don't see her slowing up for anything. She's just letting that front wheel go oh. and just holding on for dear life. Jumped there on the way out, maybe got a little wide in the, uh, on the exit of that second. She took the straighter line and we saw already earlier that was the faster way. Loses 0.57. But a little breather on the flat section there, going into our serious, pumpy section. Yeah, Sorry. there's no, the French Lost national champion. <laughs> should still see her. Pace carries on, still should be around a second and a half up. She was slower through that key section, remember? Let's have a look. The next split will tell us. 2.1, so losing nothing. Yeah, she lost nothing. And this is a section that I would say suits Mar Miriam's riding style, wouldn't you say, Rob? Well, she's, you know, highly skilled, isn't she? Look at her working so hard here. So hard, she wants it. She she's knows how to fit, let right? the bike go into the holes. That's one thing I noticed when I was racing her. I would always kind of break for a section and she would just be able to let the bike go and let her body kind of catch up later. And she's riding exactly like that today, just letting it go, letting it roll, choosing the line she wants to go. And I feel like she must look about 20 metres ahead of her because it looks like she's riding spot on. Well, she's slow. That's all right, Trace. She stays green, but it comes down a little bit. Had a second here last year and a fourth, so on both podiums. But she's going to be frustrated by a season so far this year. Crash. Actually, at uh, both races in the J and in Leah Gang. But this is a determined run. Nicole looking as good as I think we see her. Riding brilliantly today. Riding amazingly, Rob. You can see those elbows getting tight as she hit the last couple of turners. Sh turners. Corners, they're shaking. Just won the French <laughs> National Championship straight across that triple then. She will be very excited to be up heading into that Red Bull Gap jump. The 2019 World Champion. Is it going to be enough to see Miriam Nicole take the lead? I think it is. 3.37 for Farina. Nicole smashes it. 3.35.9, 1.3 into the green. And just one woman now left at the top. The formidable figure of Valentina Hull will be next. But that was a good run from Miriam. Good to see you again, Miriam. We've been <coughs> waiting for this to come out. Look at it, straight between that gap, pedal didn't hit, full commitment into that rock section. You can see it was up and down between her and Eleanor. Yeah, all the way down on the lead, on the zone analysis. They Nicole pulling it back in sector 11, though, where it counted. Look at that aggression in the corner. Knee out. Looks like we're in MotoGP in this last corner, doesn't <laughs> yeah. it? A little Valentino Rossi tribute. Loris Vergio, the man who won both of the World Cup races here last year. The man who won the European Championships on this mountain a few days ago. The man who was fastest qualifier. Has he got an answer for Thibaut de Prella this afternoon? It's going to take something special from this Frenchman. Well, if it's a smooth run that will win, then this, no, this man knows how to deliver that smooth run. Well, he certainly, this man, knows how to float like a butterfly, and he might need to down here. Going for a triple of wins here as well. Point two back at the first split. If he does win, he'll only be the sixth rider in history to have a hat trick at wins. Oh, good through the rocks. Maybe a little wide on the exit at that last turn. Let's have a look on the Mercedes-Benz key section, the hard on the pedals, Ooh. and Berger goes faster than Thibaut de Prella by 0.4 through that rock section in that new European Championship jersey. That might mean we're wow. going to see, see that the next split right after this jump here. So this split will tell us a bit more. Oh, and he's green. 0.7 up now then. Wow, look at that from Loris Vergier. So finding pace down there. 
Luke. Oh, this is what we talked about for all pre-season. The luck hasn't been with Vergier, like so many riders at those first two World Cups. Oh, a little late on their entrance there. But carrying good speed out of it, taking the inside, not going through those big holes there. Tight. Smart. Carried good speed as well. So, the most important split on the track next. And it's still green by 1.3. Extending. It's about the pace of this man. Look how fast he's going. Incredible. And this, remember, is without Amory Piron here. So many fast French riders. Look good through there, Claudio. Absolutely clean. Is it no gonna, mistake at all. Is it going to be a perfect weekend for Loris Versier? The clock all going its way at the moment, though. Just this long run down now. Perfectly at the sweet spot of the landing there. Doesn't need to pedal much, he just rolls it there. Tuck it all the way down here then, Deprella, 306.8. Here comes, oh, Fife La Vergier! 1.7 into the green! Loris Vergier wins Maribor and becomes only the sixth rider in history to have three repeat wins at any venue. Incredible stuff, Vergier's done it. It's been a long time coming for this man this year, but Vergier shows us just what he's capable of. Finally delivering for Trek. New team this year. He was so cool about it, he didn't do one single pedal stroke from the forest onwards. <laughs> he just <laughs> let it roll. That's confidence. Go me, what a race. That was insane. That was a race. It's left me out of breath. I'm, I'm wondering if we sweat more than the riders do. <laughs> <laughs> Loris Vergier wins Maribor. His fourth World Cup win. Three of those four World Cup wins have come here on this mountain, believe it or not. And as you can see, green in the last three zones, meaning he did it exactly how you had to do it, making sure you still have that energy towards the bottom, even though the way that Loris rode the bottom didn't even need that much energy because he was just coasting, basically. He wasn't attacking or pedaling, just making sure he lets it go on the right line, doesn't touch the brakes too much. A man that very much in control of his own destiny, I would say, wouldn't you, Claudio? Perfectly calculated, I would say. A very deserving winner. A brilliant rundown for him today. Under all the pressure, Vergier comes good.